Hi, uh, my name is John Kahneman. Uh, today, I want to talk to you, to you about metallic heat transfer. Uh, now, behind me, uh, you can see some MTD collectors that use a method of non-metallic heat transfer, but we'll save a discussion about this for another time. Okay, I'd like you to look at this as uh, a concept example. I, I don't expect you to actually use uh, half-inch copper tubes uh, as uh, flow tubes. You should really use something like a 3 8 inch copper tube. It's, uh, they're, um, the 3 8 is, of course, going to be a, a lot uh, less expensive. You don't really need them. Uh, I found a, a good uh, distance between the uh, copper tube is about 6 inches. I mean, I'm going to leave that up to you, but that works out pretty good for me. Anyway, uh, the thing that we really uh, are concerned with today has to do with the thickness of the absorber plate. If the absorber plate is too thick, it will take too long to heat up, and it will also take too long to transfer heat from the absorber plate to the flow tube. As you know, you know this is the absorber plate, and this is the flow tube. Just want to clarify that. I'm sure you know. You know. Okay. All right. That's good. All right, so if it's too thick, it's going to take too long to transfer the heat. So the heat transfer rate's going to be too slow. What happens if it's too thin? Well, uh, it's going to heat up right away, but if it's uh, too thin, uh, the uh, heat dissipation compared to the heat conduction, uh, the heat uh, dissipation will be higher than the heat conduction rate, so we're going to be losing more heat than we're gaining. Okay, so we don't want our absorber plate to be too thick or too thin, and we don't want it to be too expensive. So uh, we want to find a balance between all these things, and that's what this experiment is about okay, today. We're all set up for our heat transfer experiment. What we want to do is measure the heat transfer rate uh, in a, a thin sheet of aluminum as opposed to a thick sheet of aluminum. Now, the difference in thickness is, is not that much, but there is a difference. Um, the thin sheet of aluminum is 0 0.014 inches, and the thick sheet of aluminum is 0 0.02 inches. Okay, so uh, what we have here is we have uh, four temperature probes. Two temperature probes are two inches from the, the heat source, and uh, the other two uh, temperature probes are four inches from the heat source. So uh, this uh, monitor on the left will be monitoring the thin sheet of aluminum and the monitor on the right will be monitoring the temperatures in the thick sheet of aluminum. The temperature reading on the top is the is this this temperature right here is measuring the thin uh, the temperature in the thin sheet of aluminum uh, two inches uh, from the heat source. So we would expect uh, this temperature to rise uh, more rapidly than, the, uh, than the, the probe that's four inches away. Um, and that would be the same for the thick or the thin sheet of aluminum. So uh, for our heat source, we're going to use uh, two candles. Okay, so I'll light that right now. Very scientific, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have two candles in there. Trust me on this. Well, this is about as scientific as I can get. I don't know. If you want to do this on your own, you can verify some of these results. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, uh, the temperature on the left is starting to rise and so is the one on the right. These are the temperatures that are only two inches away. Now it's already up to 80, 81, 82, 83 degrees. So the temperatures for both the thick sheet of aluminum and the thin sheet of aluminum are just about the same actually. You can see 87 degrees, 87 degrees. Uh, now uh, you can notice the the temperature at four inches, it's, it's actually a little higher for the thicker sheet of aluminum, 84 degrees as opposed to 79 degrees. 
but the temperature uh, differences is really uh, are really quite similar. Uh, well, you might say that the uh, thicker sheet of aluminum conducts heat a little uh, bit better, but uh, but not much. Uh, anyway, uh, so these are one of the things that you will need to decide when you um, purchase your aluminum to make your uh, solar uh, collector. Um, uh, one thing to remember is the uh, thicker sheet of aluminum um, will cost you about twice as much. And uh, you'll notice right now that the temperature the one on the right, this is 117 degrees, and the uh, thicker aluminum is 114 degrees. So actually, it's a little hotter at uh, 2 inches. Uh, you know, it's up to 121, and the thicker sheet is 117. Anyway, they're uh, pretty much neck and neck. But you can see the, uh, the differences. Uh, not much. Uh, anyway, uh, when it comes to bending the aluminum, uh, that's when you're going to have your, your problem if you decide to make your absorber plate yourself. Uh, the thick sheet of aluminum will be more difficult to bend. Take my word on this. Okay, anyway, that's our experiment for uh, heat transfer using two thicknesses of aluminum.